Hey, kindergarten friends, it's Miss Butler, and we are going to read a story. Before we read our story, though, we're going to make some predictions because making a prediction is a great way to understand the book. Prediction just means guess, right? We use what we already know and maybe some clues from the pictures to think about what the story might be about. Doing that makes it more interesting to read the book. And it also means that we'll really pay attention to the story while we're reading it to find out whether our prediction comes true. That's a great strategy for understanding the story. So here's today's book. It's called Madeline's Rescue. It's written by Ludwig Bellmans. This is a really old story and so many kids have enjoyed reading all sorts of adventures about Madeline. If you've already read a book about Madeline, you could give a thumbs up. If this is your first one, then I hope you like it. So let's see. What do we notice on the cover? I see a bunch of kids in line. And, oh, there's even a dog. So I'm going to guess... Maybe Madeline rescues some. Maybe this is a book about Madeline rescuing someone. Maybe she rescues one of the other kids. Um, I also am going to use something I already know to help me understand. I know that this flag that you see ooh, right there, that that is not the flag of the United States. That is the flag of France. So I'm going to make the prediction that this story takes place in France. What predictions do you have? Let's read the story and find out whether any of our predictions are true. Madeline's Rescue. There's the title page. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. They left their house at half past nine in two straight lines in rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved the winter snow and ice and to the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, poo. She sounds a little bit sassy. Oh my goodness, look at this. There she is walking on the edge of a bridge. And no one knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. Oh, there's her teacher. Until the day she slipped and fell. I'm going to change my prediction. I think maybe Madeline's the one who needs to be rescued. Look, she's fallen right into some water off a bridge. Poor Madeline would now be dead. But for a dog that kept his head. Keeping your head means staying calm when there's danger. And look at that dog. He just jumped right in the water and looks like maybe he's going to try and help her and dragged her safe from a watery grave. He did. The dog pulled her right out of the river, right onto the shore and saved her. Oh, and now it looks like he's following the girls home. From, from now on, I hope you will listen to me, says Miss Clavel. And now here's a cup of chamomile tea. Well, that was a pretty scary event. Good night, little girls. I hope you sleep well. Good night, good night, dear Miss Clavel. Miss Clavel turned out the light. After she left, there was a fight about where the dog would sleep that night. Uh-oh. The new pupil was ever so clever. So pupil means student. So now the dog is a student in their school. The dog loved biscuits, milk, and beef. And so they named it 
Genevieve. I bet the dogs, all, all those little girls giving the dog food. She could sing and almost talk and enjoyed her daily walk. Genevieve looks happy to be part of their school. Soon the snow began to fly. Inside it was warm and dry and six months passed quickly by. When the first of May came near, there was nervousness each year. Hmm, I wonder why they're nervous in the beginning of May. I'm gonna predict maybe school ends in May because it's almost summertime. Maybe they're nervous about saying goodbye to their friends. For on that day, there arrived a collection of trustees for the annual inspection. Ooh, my prediction was not right. They're nervous, I think, because the trustees, that means the people who are in charge of their school are coming to inspect the school and see if all the students are doing what they're supposed to do. The inspection was most thorough, much to everyone's sorrow. Uh-oh, what do you think the trustees might find at the school that maybe shouldn't be in the school? Tap, tap, whatever can that be? Tap, tap, come out and let me see. What do you see under the bed? Oh, no. Dear me, it's a dog. Isn't there a rule that says... Dogs are not allowed in school. Miss Clavel, get rid of it, please, said the president of the board of trustees. Yes, but the children love her so, said Miss Clavel. Please don't make her go. Oh, dear. Do you think that they are going to make Genevieve, the dog, leave the school? I hope not. I dare say, said Lord Cuckoo Face. I mean, it's a perfect disgrace for young ladies to embrace this creature of uncertain place. Oh, no. Off with you. Go on. Run. Scat. Go away. And don't come back. Oh, no. He made the dog leave. <gasps> Maybe now the dog does need to be rescued. Madeline jumped on a chair. Lord Cuckoo Face, she cried. Beware, Miss Genevieve, noblest dog in France. You shall have your vengeance. <laughs> vengeance means when you get what you deserve after someone does something bad to you. It's no use crying or talking. Let's get dressed and go out walking. The sooner we're ready, the sooner we'll leave, and the sooner we'll find... Miss Genevieve, what do you predict? Do you think the girls are going to be able to find their dog, Genevieve? They went looking high and low all over Paris. And every place a dog might go, in every place they called her name. Do you think they're going to find her? but no one answered to the same. Oh dear, they can't find Genevieve. The gendarmes said, gendarmes means police in French. We don't believe we've seen a dog like Genevieve. Hours after they had started, they came back home broken hearted. Mm, no Genevieve, oh dear. Oh, there's Madeline up in the window. Oh, Genevieve, where can you be? Genevieve, come back to me. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, something is not right. There she was in her bed. Wow! An old street lamp shed its light on Miss Genevieve outside. There she is. She was petted, she was fed, and everybody went to bed. Wow, 
She's getting a lot of love from all those kids. Good night, little girls. I hope you sleep well. Good night, good night, dear Miss Clavel. Miss Clavel turned out the light, and again, there was a fight. As each little girl cried, Genevieve is mine tonight. Oh no, <laughs> just like before they're fighting over the dog. For a second time that night, Miss Clavel turned on her light. I predict she's not going to be happy about fighting over the dog. And afraid of a disaster, she ran fast. And even faster. If there's one more fight about Genevieve, I'm sorry, but she'll have to leave. Oh, dear. Hope the girls stop fighting. My goodness, look, one of them even is swinging a broom and somebody's swinging an umbrella. That is a lot of energy over this dog. That was the end of the riot. Suddenly, all was quiet. Oh, thank goodness they stopped fighting. For the third time that night, Miss Clavel turned on the light. Now, what could it be this time? Three times they've woken her up. Hmm. And to her surprise, she found, oh, there's a surprise. Suddenly, there was enough hound. Look what happened. Genevieve had puppies. So hound is a kind of dog. So now there's enough hounds, enough dogs to go all around. Oh, no more fighting over who gets to sleep with the dog because now all the children in the school have their own dog. And there's Miss Genevieve right at the top. That was a surprise ending. So I hope you enjoyed the book, Madeline's Rescue. And the next time you are reading a book yourself or listening to a book that someone's reading to you, remember to make some predictions. Stop and think during the book what you think might be happening next. It makes the book exciting and it's a great way to pay attention to the story so you can understand it better.